Spark. This is the latest drone in DJI's lineup. And as you guys know, I am a huge fan of drones. I've actually been playing with this one for the past month or so. The version that I had showed you before in a video was a prototype version and it wasn't the final retail version. I pre-ordered this pretty much three seconds after it was available. And if you pre-ordered early, I believe the only ones that you could get were the white ones. But now it looks like all the other colors are available. So there's several other colors. There's blue, red, yellow, green, and this one. The white. The only color that I would have got was hot pink or purple. Oh, they didn't have those colors. Let's open this bad boy up. Age is 15 plus. So this is actually the Fly More package. So this comes with a drone, a carrying case, charger, extra batteries and a controller. They released two separate versions. There's one that is just the drone itself that allows you to be able to fly with just your iPhone, and this one that comes with the controller and all of the accessories. So this is by far a much better deal because you get everything in one. It also came with an SD card. Let's get out the drone. Whoa. This looks like a lot of paperwork. Like what could possibly be in here? Like a novel? but I don't even think reading glasses would help out with this. We need a freaking magnifying glass. Cool story. So let's open up the drone first. Wouldn't that be something if like there was another color in here, not white? Nope, it's white. Wow, it looks so good. This is kind of crazy. I didn't even realize that you could put the batteries in here. And they fit perfectly. It's a beautiful drone. And if you're wondering, yeah, I did match my nails to my drone because would you expect anything more or anything less of me? So with one charge, you should get approximately 16 minutes of flight time. So the SD card just goes right here in the back and there's also a micro USB slot. One of the best things about the Spark is you're able to charge it via USB. So if you happen to only have a USB micro, you don't wanna bring the additional charger. You don't have to, you can charge this through USB, which is amazing. So this also comes with some extra propellers. All right, let's see what's in here now. What's this say? It shows you how to pack it. This is all very nicely packed in here. Here is your charger. Here's the prop guards. Power cable. This just plugs right into here, like so. If you're doing the palm takeoff and landing, it's definitely recommended to use the prop guards. Here's a controller. So one of the main differences between this controller and the Mavic controller, there's no LCD display on this one. I actually haven't got a chance to fly the Spark with the controller yet, so it's gonna be pretty cool to try to actually use this because I was getting pretty used to flying with my iPhone, which is a whole different experience. So that's it for what's in our little bag. So it's actually a really nice bag. charging dock and this is something that is amazing because you can charge up to three batteries at the same time. One of the worst parts about drones is their battery life because they don't last that long but this makes it super easy to charge on the go. You can also get charging cables for your car. One of the main questions that I've been getting more than anything is just seeing what drone do I get? This is a really really difficult question because if you're a beginner I would definitely say get this one. The price point on the Mavic is much higher than this but you also are getting better video quality. But this is also super small, super simple, and it's way less expensive than the Mavic is. So it really depends on your budget. What are you going to do with it? And ultimately, do you need 4K or do you not need 4K? There's also a bunch of pre-programmed flight modes in here, so it really is a social media drone in the palm of your hand. Being able to do the palm takeoff and palm landings is pretty awesome and you don't even need to use your phone for it. You can use palm control so you can direct your drone left, right, up, down. You give it one of these symbols and it takes your picture all without needing to connect to your phone. Well guys, that's it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Spark. Do you have a favorite drone? Do you have a drone? Are you gonna get a drone? Do you want a drone? I'll also leave a link in the description and a card at the end of this video where you guys can see the previous video that I made when I first got my hands 
hands on one of these guys. There's some footage of me flying the drone, and there's also some demonstrations of using the palm controls, the palm takeoff, and the palm landing. I will see you guys in my next video, and hopefully I will see you guys at VidCon. I am super excited. I will see you guys very, very soon.